Hello, I'm Kai Wood Berman. Uh, I'm involved in the Open ICC project, and uh, this is a list of uh, of people interested in color management, many, much uh, in open source color management, but also popularity color management, and we will talk about the concepts behind uh, uh, color management on Linux. So, uh, OpenICC, what is it? It's a free desktop.org project. It's uh, officially hosted in the collaboration space uh, with his email list. And uh, as I said, it's about color management, not only uh, open source, but also uh, other stuff. Uh, and uh, there are many people of the color community involved, uh, which works on bigger companies and also on the from the open source projects to exchange how things should work on the Linux platform. It's mostly run by email list, so you can sub subscribe, uh, search in the arch archives, and uh, we have also a, a IRC channel, which is uh, running on free desktop, uh, no, on free node net. Uh, we have some specifications to help developers uh, getting the path to the uh, details how to do stuff on the platform, which is hosted on the wiki on free desktop org. Uh, OpenICCinfo uh, info is just a small uh, link to to get there, and we have some documentation um, how to find ICC profiles which can be used or other stuff you are interested in, projects are, which are involved, and uh, further links to discussions and so on. There's a small part of code as well involved, but uh, we are mainly a dis discussion group um, focused on a topic of the color management, so we have very few implementation stuff. So, um, OpenICC is a collaboration space to uh, uh, propose uh, ideas, to discuss them, to get them to the state where you f can feel confident it's uh, worth uh, implementing them, and also to get feedback from other people. So, uh, it's pretty uh, nice to, to come there and, uh, and get a first uh, exposure on your idea. On, on this group of uh, experts and also of users. We create uh, and maintain specifications, as I said, it's, uh, uh, on the wiki. And uh, of course, we also spot bugs uh, recently in, in Firefox about ICC profile distribution. We have some faked ones. Uh, widespread um, on the, uh, in the Linux distributions. And um, to make it a little bit uh, better to, to get uh, good ones, we also create profiles and uh, review them in order to, uh, uh, to have a high quality asset which can be used in a, in a more confident way. I think ICC profiles are for most people uh, um, a secret data block. You have some some wow um, idea what could be inside, but uh, to test them and to to be sure uh, how much you can rely on it, uh, you need really experts. So it's uh, confidential for most users to have the right ones uh, uh, installed on your system. And of course, uh, we would like to help projects to. Uh, to get on with color management, uh, to have questions and uh, to have questions answered, uh, which help them to to find their path and to get hints uh, what to do there. So, this is uh, I think my last slide here, and. Uh, I just want to, as I said, we are a discussion group, so I want uh, to ask you about what you, you are interested as users and developers uh, to, to find uh, inside Linux color management. And I have just uh, listed some 
some hot topics at the moment, but maybe you have also other stuff uh, which you are interested in. So immediately asking questions is pretty uh, pretty fine. And I, uh, okay, I may just uh, uh, tell about what uh, what we are talking about. So as a C profile in X, uh, which uh, specifies a monitor profile uh, inside the X server, which is network transparent, needs also to move on to surveillance. Uh, I think there is some work underway, or at least uh, plans to do about this uh, by Richard. And uh, another topic is to unify the so configuration databases, so as a user you have typical uh, default profiles which you use when you have untagged uh, images or you have settings for preferred rendering intents and these settings uh, should ideally be uh, stored in one database accessible easily by all uh, applications and services for the Linux desktop. So uh, Grimgill has prototyped some years ago with so UCMM uh, color management system. It's a very tiny p uh, piece of, of code to, to store uh, monitor profiles in a JSON database. And we want to move that into um, a more common format for uh, for other color management systems. And I've put some code on the SourceForge uh, page for, for this project. Um, and we on the Open ICC uh, list are much believers that uh, ICC profile of profiles are more easily ex uh, exchanged. Also, if you have no such great device like the color hack or other color, color meters, and uh, so you should immediately get an ICC profile. And uh, we have uh, specified some interfaces to do this uh, on an online database, which, which is called Taxi. We will uh, hear later about this. And uh, what is on the plan is to extend um, ICC uh, meter tag uh, embedding into uh, into the ICC profiles, so you have uh, so you can have uh, device identification, driver settings, and other color related stuff inside the ICC profile not only for monitors but also for printing and I think there also exists some stuff so uh, we need to settle down if we all want to support it and uh, and to take this one and we have seen much uh, user questions on the Argus CMS list and I think sometimes it's getting off topic so we are thinking about having a new uh, evil list for um, more beginner users to have questions and get answers for this. So, so I'm expecting your questions now. Okay, he was first. <laughs> so I'm a designer. I know very little about color management. I know what I need to get by so stuff doesn't come out of the printers looking really bad but I feel like I don't have much control because it, it seems like a very complex topic. And I'm just wondering if you could recommend for designers any sort of primer or like reliable source of information because that's the other thing that I've found is there's a lot of information about um, color profiles and color management that's conflicting or wrong or people making guesses. So is there any like good source of information to just for an absolute beginner to start learning? I think uh, there are some uh, there are some uh, tutorials uh, on the internet. Um, I'm not sure if we have linked them on the Open ICC wiki. I don't think so. Uh, well, it's an idea we should uh, consider and and put with something in place. Um, well, you have uh, high-level color management uh, tutorials, especially for Linux. I think uh, the most practical thing is uh, Wikipedia Linux color management entry. So you have rare collection and also some 
uh, hints about what to do uh, with profiling and installation. But um, it's a really broad stuff and to get end-to-end -end color management from your camera shooting or from the internet and how to set up your views and uh, to get it through until printing that's uh, really complicated and very application dependent so maybe the, the user list would be a right place to have a question and get uh, especially the answer for this Yeah, you mentioned that monitor profiles now have some information in them, like the, the lookup table and this sort of thing, and you said you wanted to do the same thing for printers, but what sort of information would it make sense to put in the profile that says how to set up a printer to use that with that profile? Um, so, um, so Cups Auto, which is very influential on uh, co uh, color management for Linux, Max Suite, uh, he stated that uh, he wants to go with the uh, free qualifiers for ICC profiles and we had a lot of discussion on OpenICC about Gutenprint needing much more settings for various kinds of cameras for each channel and brightness and so on. And so these settings are all influential to color rendering and also uh, what uh, ICC profile can des describe. Uh, I'm not sure if we can really move forward with that in a straight way. Uh, where there are hints that it will always, well, yeah, it will mostly be a special purpose solution we can place in ICC profiles and extract it uh, in the filter, in the uh, um, PDF to rust the filter in, in order to fit uh, these op options to, to the good, good print driver. Uh, and I think mostly we will stick with the three qualifiers as existing cups. And uh, Richard, uh, maybe uh, do you like to uh, to talk more about because you have uh, this stuff inside Colored? <laughs> I guess this is kind of a point of contention in the OpenICC group, so I've got to be a little bit careful. Um, my idea of a printer is most people don't care that much about ICC profiles and don't really care about color management on the assumption that it should just work. Um, so I think you need a lot less settings than what a lot of people say. For instance, I, in the Color D way of doing it, Color D has a CUPS um, plugin uh, in, in CUPS itself um, where it registers printers with Color D and then uh, CUPS then requests from Color D, what color profile should I use for this for this print job, i.e. RGB, 600 DPI, um, on plain paper. So Color D then matches one profile per print, per set of print settings. And I've tried to document that in the, if you go to the GNOME uh, control center and you click on the color thing, there's like a thing like what do I do next or tell me more information, I forget the button, what the button's called. And there's more information about how you associate the profile with the printer and that kind of thing. I do take some, I understand some people's view in that you do need some more configuration for some, if you're a pre-press type guy or that kind of thing, or you, you want to deal just in CMYK and you're more of a geeky kind of color guy. But I think for 99.9% .9 of people, you just want one color profile for glossy paper and perhaps another color profile for plain paper. Would that be about right or is that completely off base? Generally, if, if you had one color profile per printer, is that enough for most people here? If you raise your hand, that would be good for you. What, one color profile per type of paper and settings, and one color profile completely arbitrary. Cool. Yeah, I think that's that's the bare minimum. I think. Yeah. I think a lot of people are just going to be using the ICC profile the vendor provides, which is kind of kind of middle road, not that good. Because um, to, prof to actually create an ICC profile for a printer means you've got to buy something called a photospectrometer or something like that. And it's kind of clunky and they cost quite a lot of money. So I don't think a lot of people are going to be doing that. I think if we can tell people to use the vendor profile, which you can download from, I don't know, HP, Epson or whatever, that makes a bit more sense than saying to the user, kind of calibrate your printer using $800 worth of equipment. Um. Another thing is uh, the vendor profiles of paper suppliers, so where stuff might not fit to the actual 
uh, uh, printer manufacturer uh, calibration? I think in the past the commercial ecosystem has been very tied to we sell a printer, the point of selling a printer is that you can buy lots of ink. Uh, we provide three sets of papers that aren't very good and most people will use those papers. Um, I found it very interesting, there's a new Canon printer come out with like 12 or something channels and what I found interesting was that they provide software for you, first of all they provide software for you to actually calibrate your own thing. If you have a spectrophotometer, you can use the Canon software and it tells you what to do and it leads you through to calibrate your own paper. They're also collaborating with other manufacturers of paper like, so it's a bit more of an open thing. It's like you're for paper manufacturer, you can talk to them. They're not only pointing to Canon paper, they're pointing to their competitor's paper. Sort of like the open source software community works. Gee, it would be nice if we could do better than they did, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, and you, you mentioned that there's uh, some, some kind of uh, disagreement about uh, color this stuff inside cups. So I think we uh, need to get it straightened out. But I, what I re what really like to do is uh, to use the same color keys. Uh, Richard, you have placed them inside uh, a specification and put them also in the ICC profiles. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Great. Okay, so it would be cool to have this discussed on the open IC list. Feel invited to join us. You had a question? I just wanted to briefly. Hi, I'm Kate. Um, I used to work with open printing, and we did look at um, color profiles and how that would fit into um, into printing a little bit, um, which is still on the wiki there. But I just want to say. Yeah, we, we, if it's um, all linked to paper, one big question with printers is that um, there's, there's only a, a small, you know, it's not very likely or it's not always the case that you know what kind of paper you're printing on. And I just wanted to um, say, um, yeah, what you were saying down there, I completely agree with just about all of it, about the fact that it's linked to the paper type. And, um, you know, in terms of print settings, that's where we wanted to put the um, you know, those choices, apart from when people were using things like Guten Print or specific um, non sort of general print engines. Well, it would be uh, nice to have this information provided directly by the printing device, read from the paper, and so you have the settings already automatically select, pre selected. And so, yeah, at the moment it's manual. But I think this is a topic uh, which we must left to the manufacturers because we cannot much do uh, about this. I think the, the, the printer type should give this feedback to the, uh, as the, the printing device should give the feedback to the printer driver and then uh, put through the cups stuck to. Yeah. Please repeat I guess one thing that I've noticed with a lot of printer ink is if you use like non-genuine ink, like if you use like the non-genuine ink, yeah, RGB ink, it's a very different colour profile to if you actually choose the better inks. I, usually, I find that the genuine inks are actually really good for colour, but the, the cheap ones are kind of, well, to be honest, crap. Um, and also they fade over time. So is there a way of telling if a printer's got genuine inks in or not? Does anyone know that? generic cartridges or it has some system that tries to detect whether it's a genuine Epson or whatever in, in which case people use a syringe and fill the old thing full or it's got a really good thing to detect whether it's genuine in which case it won't work with non-genuine ones so 
you, you, you either can't tell or you know for definite that it, it's got original ink in it. Oh yeah, it, it is. I mean, pe people buy a printer and they think, oh, that wasn't very much money. And then when they go into the second set of inks, they go, Phew. and then they find something that's a quarter of the price. Oh, that'll be fine then. And they're, they're printing out web pages or whatever. They're printing out something from Google Maps. They don't care. It's fine. But then when they print, print out their photograph that they've just taken, they go, why does it look like crap now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but of course, if the ink is completely different, it's no surprise that the color profile will need to be different because it's completely different colors. The colors are in the ink. Yeah, and uh, I think we uh, we want to get this mostly automatic, uh, ideally, so the user has uh, as less as possible interaction to take care about stuff and uh, make errors. Or to avoid doing better. So, any more questions? Okay, I think then we are uh, also with uh, the time done, and I thank you very much. <laughs>